Jimmy, are, are you ready? Fear, uh, fear first. Yeah, are you ready? Yeah. Um, take my block down. Take, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, stability's up. You're immune. Go ahead and corrupt. Okay, that still worked. Hello, Ragak here. This will be my last beta test movie since release is just right around the corner. If you've been following my previous movies, you know that I've been tracking how stability works versus its counters. And as of the 821 stress test, fear no longer penetrates stability. However, it can still be removed with corrupt or normal boon strips. This movie is going to be a montage of clips that I found interesting, and I'm going to go ahead and start off by talking about cannonballs in the new structured PvP map. Controlling the cannon on this map is going to be very important since it has enough range to reach both control points, and as you can see, it's pretty devastating. But that's enough about the cannon. I want to talk about the cannonball. In this clip, I've just downed an enemy warrior, and I've used Stand Your Ground to give me stability for the stomp. But notice that ball that's hanging over my head there. That's a cannonball that the other warrior has thrown at me. Now a thrown cannonball will knock you down. This one doesn't knock me down because I have stability. But what happens is the cannonball falls at my feet. And since I'm hitting F to finish the down warrior, I instead pick up the cannonball, which stops my stomp and ends up wasting my stability. And here is what happens when you try to finish someone when you don't have stability. The beach is yours. Why are my sharkies attacking you? God! I don't shark fail. Weapon teams. Notice here that I still have the cannonball. The warrior at the bottom is trying to eviscerate my Asura teammate. However, I throw the cannonball and end up knocking him down and interrupting that eviscerate. Ever since this happened, I've been trying to convince my team that we need at least one person dedicated to carrying around a cannonball on this map and using it to interrupt people. But every time I bring it up, they tell me to shut the f up. If you've seen my other movies, you already know that I'm a huge fan of stability. Here I use it to secure a stomp against the Spirit Hammer and Guardian Downstate 2. Shield of Wrath can also be very good for stomping. One of the things that I like about Guild Wars 2 is that it has quite a few abilities that can be used in more than one way. We just saw Shield of Wrath being used to down someone, but it can also be used offensively and defensively. In this clip, I'm using Shield of Wrath to get through Vexy's Chaos Field, I'm evading to protect its blocks, and then using it offensively on the Ranger where it blows up. Why is half my team here? There's an 8 or 8 map. Dirt. And not really much to go. We're using Cheater Shield. <laughs> you mean skills? Skill bubble? Here I use Shield of Wrath to give us area retaliation, and then since it was done inside the bubble, the blocks were protected and it ends up exploding. Sanctuary's duration has recently been nerfed, but I'm still tempted to keep it because it's one of the best troll abilities in the game. Get down there, shorty. So, do you ever wonder why Guardians complain so much about the Scepter 1 attack? What's happening here is that the orb auto leads your target. That is, it heads towards where your target would be as long as they don't change direction. But, of course, if they do change direction, the orb completely misses. This is most noticeable with the orb because it is a very slow projectile. 
take a look at what happens when he does not change direction. The orbs auto lead and hit him. I'm trying to get you up. Bubble, if I can get it. No, we got feared. No, I'm f***ed. Go and book, if I can. Okay. I'm gonna knock him off with the bubble. Oh man, that hurt. <laughs> Got another one coming up. The beach is yours. 